Do you want to animate one or multiple people in your images, make them talk or sing, and control facial expressions and emotions? With Live Portrait you can do these. You can use different types of images like realistic, oil painting, 3D rendering and more, and animate images based on your source video. Live Portrait allows you to create viral content for TikTok, Instagram and any other platform. Stay with us to learn how to use it, and learn tricks to animate multiple people in an image. First, I will animate a person, and then move on to animating multiple people in one image using this free tool and get help of Premiere Pro. You'll find all the links you need in the description below. With this tool, you can do more than just animate your images. You can control lips and eyes, and open and close them for a more realistic effect. In this video, I'll guide you through converting images to video. If you have a powerful GPU, you can install the tool locally and even use it to convert video to video. Here are the installation steps on your computer. For online use, the first option we'll explore is using it on Hugging Face. Here, you should upload your image that you want to animate. You can upload an image from your computer or use your webcam to take an image. The source image can have any aspect ratio. Here are some example images. You can use any one you want. Next, you need to upload your source video that you want to animate the image based on it. You can upload a video from your computer or use your webcam. You can search on Google or record a video of yourself and use it here as the source. Note that the video should be square. You see some examples here. Click on each one that you want to use. If you upload a video with an aspect ratio that is not one by one, you will see this error. So first, change the aspect ratio of the video. Open this website. Upload the video. Here, you can change the aspect ratio. By pressing one by one, you see the square. Move it to the part of the video that you want. You can also crop the video and select a specific part. Then press the save button. For the first example, I will use this video. By pressing this icon, you can trim your video and select a specific part. I use this source image. Press the animate button and wait. On the right side, you will see the source image, source video, and final result compared with each other. On the left side, you can see the final result. You can download the result from here. From this part, you can control the lips and eyes and make them close or open. Zero value makes them close. I test it to open the lips and keep the eyes closed. Upload the image or use your webcam. Press retargeting. Try with different values. Another option to use live portrait is to use it on replicate. First, upload an image from your computer or use your webcam. Next, add your source video. You will see some settings at the bottom. You can use the default settings, or change them if needed. Just like on Hugging Face, here you can enable retargeting for lips and eyes. If you need this feature, enable it and adjust it using the slider. Press the Run button. Here is the final result. You can download it from here. To use Live Portrait in Google Collab, first, check the runtime type. If it is not T4, click on Runtime at the top menu, and select Change Runtime Type, then change it to T4. You can save a copy of this notebook in your Google Drive. Run the first cell and wait until you see a green tick next to the Run button. When it's done, before running the next cell, we need to upload the source image and source video to collab and use their paths in the code. To upload, press this icon and select your files. When the upload is complete, click on the three dots next to each file and select copy path. Then, paste the path in the code. 
The first path is for the source image, and the second path is for the source video. After that, run the cell. When it's complete, open the Live Portrait folder and go to the Animations folder. You can see the results here. You can download each result from here. When I upload an image with several people, it animates just one person, and I can't select which one. So, I need to keep the face I want, and hide the other faces. Then, I animate the faces one by one. Use any image editor to hide the other faces. For this example, I'll use this video that I created with Hedra AI. If you're not familiar with Hedra, there's a link in the description. Press the animate button. If your source video contains voice, the result keep the voice. Download the result, and repeat the process for the next image. Note that for each face, you can use a different source video based on your needs. If you want to upload your video, pay attention to these notes. Download the result, and go to the next step. I use Premiere Pro. You can also do this in other video editors. Create a new project. Import the video parts and drag them into the timeline. Place the files on top of each other. Select the top layer. You see the top layer that we selected it. We want to mask part of this layer and select the part of it that we want to see. To do this, select this tool and draw a bezier mask. Just set points, and each point will connect to the next one, and connect first and last points. When the mask is complete, you'll see two people next to each other with no face hidden. This technique can be used in storytelling, creating music videos, and other projects based on your needs. Try this tool and let me know in the comments about your experience. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.